Hi, this is Ryan. Um, I went out to the uh, garage today and worked on a little bit of a project uh, making a uh, tap follower since uh, I don't have one currently. Um, I'm going to be making it out of a couple different materials. This, I believe, is some kind of uh, bronze. And um, this piece is the, the housing, so the outside, the, the part that the uh, that the uh, guide pin will uh, slide in. Um, I'm just uh, facing it off here and center drilling it. Uh, and the uh, next operation I'll be here is a uh, the, the through hole. I'm using a letter Q drill here to uh, bore out the uh, the center of the piece here. And the letter Q is the uh, drill size used for a 3 8 24 and with the design that I was using, the uh, I'll use a 3 8 24 Allen uh, to, uh, to plug up the uh, end here. What I'm doing here is uh, measuring the length of the stub drill so I know ex how far in that I had drilled the, uh, the one bore and then I'm going to transfer that measurement onto the uh, full piece adding a half inch uh, that I want to uh, have for the plunger to uh, be guided in and then I'm going to switch out to a, the quarter inch drill that I'm going to use to uh, drill the rest of the uh, bore through. Um, I'll shove that into I'm touching here and then when I go through here I'm just going to use the guide on the tailstock to move in an additional half an inch or so. So the, now the, the, the two uh, different bores sizes uh, should be uh, in the part and in the uh, this first part here I'm just getting the, uh, the live center set up and then I'm going to uh, take a uh, the piece here mark uh, the uh, length here so I can see it when it's uh, spinning and then take the uh, first uh, skim cut to uh, true up the uh, the outside diameter. I'm going to let you uh, listen to the next part here.
and I'll speed you through the uh, last bit of here. I'm uh, turning this down to approximately a half inch. It's not uh, real critical. I just wanted to get it to a size where a uh, half inch drill chuck could uh, could hold it. And so right now we're parting off the uh, the part here to uh, length, and um, then I'm uh, turning the uh, part around. Found out that the uh, I mismeasured a little bit on the uh, on the excess hole here. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, kind of uh, part this out here and then uh, or face it off and then uh, chamfer it here a little bit to break the edge and then I'm going to come here with the uh, center drill to uh, start the the hole from this side and then uh, we'll see here I'll uh, finish up uh, drilling the uh, hole out using the uh, quarter inch uh, drill again to uh, until I meet up with the the hole on the other side that should have uh, been there I could have just uh, probably uh, faced it off until I got to the end but I decided to uh, to drill the hole Here I am tapping the uh, larger end for the 3 8 uh, 24 set screw that uh, I'm going to use to hold the plunger and the spring inside. I decided to use some titanium rods for the uh, for the plunger. Um, I've had these uh, that I gotten off of eBay. I don't know for sure what grade they are, but uh, decided just to see how the Atlas would uh, would would do those with the titanium inserts. I'm using some uh, heavy uh, dark oil on these and. Um, when I was down in Pensacola, I was visiting him, Adam, and uh, he was nice enough to uh, give me some of his uh, dark cutting oil here. So I got the uh, the A bomb cup. I'll let you hear the uh, first cut here.
first piece that we're uh, turning down here is for the small end of the plunger. It'll be, uh, we'll turn it down to approximately a quarter inch and then we'll uh, stop once it has a, uh, a good uh, kind of slip fit for the uh, smaller hole that we created for the uh, plunger in the first piece. So here I'm going to uh, start uh, adding the uh, 60 degree paper onto the uh, smaller end. I'm using the uh, compound to uh, feed and then uh, the cross slide to uh, feed in to create the uh, paper here. Cut us along a little bit. Uh, I tried to uh, readjust the, the part in the uh, chuck so I didn't have quite as much stick out. And if you uh, look close enough on here, you can see that the uh, material there is a, a little bit of pushback that the, uh, that the tool gives. But uh, I decided just to. Uh, Put it back to uh, the way that I had it in the uh, chuck, and then uh, just take uh, slow uh, cuts along the way here. It actually worked out a little bit uh, better than I thought. Uh, I thought it was similar to uh, when, we were, when I was turning it down. We uh, it work really cut uh, very well on the, uh, on the very small uh, in feeds. Decided on this uh, last uh, pass here to uh, feed towards the center rather than trying to uh, catch up the, uh, the point again. And, uh, I didn't uh, turn it down to a, uh, a sharp point to uh, figure it out if you the uh, the cat guy and the cat follower to not have a completely sharp point. My camera was kind of running low on uh, energy, so I uh, just turned the, uh, the plunger part around and uh, turned it down until it uh, fit inside the, uh, the, uh, the bore that was in the, uh, the larger end. And just uh, doing a little chamfers, uh, just chamfering the, the other end just a little bit with the, uh, the threading tool. And... Uh, and I'll take the uh, the part out here, and then I'm just going to uh, fit it inside the uh, the larger piece here for the first time uh, and to uh, get something to uh, help uh, push it in here. The uh, the first time there was a uh, look, there may have been a, a few burrs left on the uh, threads. Uh, from uh, from threading it, but overall it uh, fit pretty good once it. Here's the uh, the final uh, plunger piece, and uh, so I'm uh, going to get ready to uh, try to uh, get it into the the main body here for the first time. I did have to uh, 
push it in. I don't know if I just had a couple burrs here on the uh, on the threads, so I just had to uh, take something and uh, push it in the uh, the rest of the way here. Um, otherwise, once it got past that, it uh, went pretty smoothly. On my initial uh, try here, I, the uh, spring was just a little long, so uh, I was showing there that I had uh, cut off the, the end of the spring, so it uh, would uh, have a little uh, less travel. Um, one thing I did find is, you know, the piece did, uh, the uh, plunger may have a little bit too, be too long inside, and I could always uh, take that back out and... Uh, face it off a little bit if I wanted to get a little bit more play and I just drilled a uh, a sample uh, 3 ace uh, 16 I think it is 3 16 and uh, just using the uh, follower with the uh, the tap wrench for the first time to uh, see how it works hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, watching this here and uh, enjoy just getting out and doing it. It didn't take too long. If I find that the uh, that the uh, point uh, spins in it too much, I may have to take it out and, uh, and mill out a slot and put a pin in there. Thanks for watching, guys.